And thank you everyone for showing up Monday after Monday after Monday. There is only one, one way to change, and that is um, by introducing uh, new and better rituals and then stay with it. Like, stay with it. Um, I was, I had a, a teacher trainer. So, I was the student this weekend working. I was working with my teacher and I was trying to get away with stuff, and she's like, no, nope, not working. You have to put in the work, uh, little by little, day by day, step by step. So uh, I'm very grateful to this community. An amazing level of resilience, uh, despite all the uncertainty we live in. We just keep on showing up Monday after Monday. It's far from perfect, and yet we do it. That is cool, in my opinion. Okay, so today is water. We, as, as you know, or might remember, is that I like to design my classes following the elements. Uh, it gives me structure. And then within that structure, I can allow myself to be creative. Um, so we start with earth, water, fire, air, space, and then a balancing, uh, balancing uh, practice. Today is water. Water is like a second chakra. Color is orange. Creativity. Uh, I have the right to feel. It's like joints, flowy. Um, and the mantra that I have chosen to work with this week is I awaken to the pulse of life within me and around me. So you can choose to work with the same mantra. You can pick another one. Um, I awaken to the pulse of life within me and around me. I awaken to the pulse of life within me and around me. Okay, let's start with a little bit of chair practice and then we'll move into the yoga nidra practice uh, later. So finding our seat. I am choosing to work with the chair. Uh, this practice could be done standing or on or on the mat too. Uh, but for me, the chair is pretty convenient. And uh, that's why I like to uh, start my practice in the chair. So finding your seat. Checking in with the Feet connecting to the earth, hands on your knees, noticing the sit bones, pit of the belly goes in and up, the spine is light and tall, shoulders are relaxed, they are widening, neck is long. You can even imagine that you have like a little magnet inside your head, a little magnet, someone's pulling uh, your head up with that magnet. If you'd like, you could bring your awareness to your breathing, just noting what kind of breathing are you using today? Self-observation without judgment. Vami Kripalu. And then whenever you're ready, you could, if you wanted to, you could bring your awareness to your sit bones, shift the weight from one side to the other. You could stay here or you could add some circles. Maybe one way and then the other. And then bringing the awareness or coming back to neutral and bringing the awareness to the spine, exhale and round back. Inhale into a back bend. Exhale round. Inhale. Exhale round, inhale into back bend, and then back to neutral. Hands on your shoulders and then gently uh, twisting from side to side, waking up the mid core or the mid part of the core, solar plexus. Maybe start swimming, engaging the shoulders, go backwards. 
and then come back to neutral, maybe lifting the shoulders up and down a few times. Okay, now bring awareness to your hands and fingers and then close and open, close and open, close and open, bring them up and down. One more time, have all those small joints working. Okay, now imagine your head, your head is kind of resting on top of a, like the spine. And then there is like imagine a little magnet. So I'm pulling the head up and then kind of tilt it over. And then bring the head back up and put it back on the spine. And then the other side, using that magnet to pull the head up and then tilt it over. And then bring it back up and down. Okay, now just check in with your toes and feet to start with. Really trying to spread the toes, maybe lifting the heels. Like we, we want to move, we want to loosen up the joints today. And then bring the feet together, lift that right knee off the floor, open up the hip joint. Finding seated pigeon. Now, if you want to, you could use your fingers and put the fingers in between the toes to open up the toes and all those small joints. Uh, and then maybe circle the feet around. So we are in seated pigeon and then we're just like adding the ankle and the toes. You could sit up tall, maybe lean forward or find another way of moving that is helpful to you today. All right, slide the knees together. Use those fingers all the way up and then exhale and turn away from that knee, finding a gentle twist. You can keep on moving the hands and feet around if you'd like. Inhale back up, exhale back to neutral. And then uh, we'll do the same thing on the other side. Finding seated pigeon. If you wanted to, you could uh, use the fingers in between the toes. Sitting up tall, tall, tall. Circle that foot around, getting some fluids into that ankle. And then sitting up tall, leaning forward. Notice where there is resistance. What would happen if I replace resistance with resilience? I think probably that was the question I, my teacher told me or asked me this weekend. Okay, uh, slide the knees together, use the fingers and hands, open up and close them, come up high, exhale, turn away from uh, that knee, finding a gentle twist on the other side. and then release back and come back to neutral. Okay, put your hands in your back pockets, bring the elbows behind, open up the chest. We open up the chest and the heart chakra without losing our personal power. So the pit of the belly is still going in and up. So my, my spine is tall, tall and light, and my shoulders are widening, manubrium is widening. All right, release. Now we're gonna come up to stand. Transferring the weight forward, trans like pouring water, pouring water, pouring water forward and then come up to stand. Awesome, okay. Now bend the knees, put the hands on your, on your knees and start making circles. You can go one way. The other way, maybe you can go both, like the, the knees can be parallel. Notice how the feet are moving. 
you want to spread those toes to get as much contact with the earth as possible and yet stay fluid and mobile. Okay, release. Now, bring that uh, awareness to your foot, move it around, maybe even lift the foot off the floor a little bit. Go to the other side. Okay. Now, both feet planted on the earth, bend the knees, hands on your hips, and then start, if you'd like, you can make uh, circles with your hips. Knees are bent, movement, fluidity. So like earth last week, earth is stable, solid, steady. We hold the poses. Water is like almost the opposite, fluid, always moving, not always, but usually moving. Okay, and then um, let those arms go. Path of least resistance. So a stream or a river, like there might be rocks there, but they, you know, the water just like, oh, wait, whatever, I'll just find another path. There's always a path around the rocks. All right. Okay, now let's um, do a start with the sun salutation. We're going to do it, we're going to add on a little bit. Okay. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, up and over. Inhale halfway, exhale uh, and find a uh, plank pose. So plank pose is like earthy. My shoulders are right on top of my hands and I'm steady. Now we're going to turn this into water, bending knees and elbows and moving back and forth. Using the feet and the hands to push I'm using the hands to push my tailbone back and I'm using my, my feet to push the magnet in my head forward. And then eventually finding down dog. This can of course be done on the mat too, just placing the, the hands on the floor. Okay, now bring that right knee up and forward and then start making circles uh, with that knee. And then maybe bring it up, make circles with the foot, and then place that right foot outside the chair. Think lizard pose, outside the chair. Release the back knee down and place the forearms on the chair. So like a lizard pose. I want my knee to be right on top of the foot. So I make adjust, I, I look and I make adjustments. Pushing into the base of the big toe. Okay, from here, we're gonna move to forearm plank. So I'm pushing into the chair, stepping back to forearm plank. Now use the feet to move uh, the head. And then eventually we're gonna move from here to dolphin. So I'm gonna walk the feet towards the chair and my hips and table are gonna come up high. Armpits are moving towards my feet. Dolphin pose. And I can play around here. I can bend one knee, bend, bend the other, bend both. Come up on my tippy toes, come up on my heels, moving around. All right, now put your hands on the chair and find dog, uh, down dog again. You can do the other side. So slowly bringing that left uh, knee up and then making circles. One way, the other way. And then bring it up and over maybe. And then finding listen on the other side. So placing that foot outside the chair, bring the back knee down, my knee is outside the chair. 
trying to place the knee on top of the ankle. Opening up that right hip flexor. Maybe I feel some resistance in my in my uh, left hip. So what if I could replace resistance with the resilience? How would that change things? Okay, moving from here to a forearm plank. Um, so stepping back, finding a forearm plank. And then whenever you're ready, moving up to dolphin. So walking the feet towards the chair, armpits are pushing towards uh, the feet. Hips are high. All right, hands back on the chair, stepping back, finding down dog. Okay, we're gonna jump. We're gonna jump wide. Inhale, look forward, exhale, jump wide. And then bending one knee, bending the other. You can place the hands on the floor or you can have your forearms. Maybe bending both. That's opening up the hips. Okay, inhale for a flat back. Exhale, jump your feet together. Inhale for a flat back. Exhale, fold. Inhale all the way back up. Exhale down the midline. I awaken to the pulse of life within me and around me. I awaken to the pulse of life within me and around me. Okay, inhale to chair pose. You can always use the chair to, pour, to keep the balance. Imagine how water is pouring from the right side of the body into the left. The left side gets heavy, the right side gets light. Bring that right heel off the floor, take a big step back, finding warrior one. Okay, putting in some, imagine that you're moving in water. So there is some resistance in, in water, yeah? It slow things down. Coming to stillness. Inhale up, open up for warrior two. The back, the back pelvis opens up, the front pel pelvis opens up the opposite way. There are two pelvic halves. Okay, coming to stillness. Now, the hips are moving back as the head is moving forward, finding trikonasana, straightening that front knee. Come back to warrior two. Caught with the hands down, uh, hips are moving forward. Release the back knee down. Keep those toes tucked if you can, and then place your hands in your back pocket. Okay, now we're gonna transfer the weight forward. So place the hands back on the floor and transfer the weight forward, stepping up, inhale to a flat back, exhale, fold, inhale all the way back up, exhale down the midline. Okay, inhale to chair pose. Imagine how all the water in the left side of the body is going into the right side. The right side is heavy, the left side is light. Heel comes up, take a big step back, finding warrior one. The two pelvic halves are facing forward. Okay, come bring the hands up and open up for warrior two. The two pelvic halves are opening up like a flower. Okay, now the hips are moving back as that magnet is moving up and forward. 
So I'm staying balanced even though I'm moving into trikonasana. And back to warrior two. Caught with the hands uh, down, uh, hips are turning forward. Release that back knee down. Keep the toes tucked if you can, and then place the hands in your back pocket for a um, heart opener. Okay, we're going to move forward now. Hands on the chair. I need to move my front foot back a little bit and then transfer the weight forward inhale for a flat back exhale fold inhale all the way back up exhale down the midline i awaken to the pulse of life within me and around me and release okay let's do a version of tree pose. So um, I'm standing behind the chair just so I have the chair there if I need it. I might not have, I might not need it, I just like to have it there. Okay, tree pose in water. So think seaweed. So place the feet a little bit for, a little bit wider than your than your hips. Uh, arms come up and and maybe if you'd like you could imagine yourself as seaweed or some kind of sea tree, seaweed tree in water. So water is rushing around, you're moving around you, the water makes you move. But there's some softness and some resilience and resistance maybe in that water. Transferring the weight from foot to foot and eventually pick one foot and see if you can stay on that foot and maybe bring the other foot off the floor. There's still movement in water. I can always uh, place the foot back down or I can hold on to the chair. But like moving slowly in water, finding the balance there in water. And then when I'm ready, coming back on both feet, going from foot to foot, transferring the weight. And the water kind of helps me because it slows things down. And then picking the other side, maybe getting the other foot off the floor for a seaweed tree. And then finding the way back to both feet. And then back to stillness. Okay. We're gonna try a few seated positions. So come into the front of the chair and then slowly come down to seated. We're gonna try Yanasthusasana on the chair. So I'm starting seated, uh, facing forward. And then imagine how you just, how like the second toe, bring the second toe up and out. So it depends on what, chair you have. This chair is pretty big, so I have the space to do this. I'm hoping that you have the space to do this too, or if not, I'm sure you can figure out a way to, to do this. So I'm pulling that up, so I'm facing like 45 degrees this way now. This knee has a tendency to fall forward, so I need to use my outer hips to keep that, that stable. And then turning back towards this side, right hand goes on that knee and I could fold forward. I could straighten that leg. And coming back and then sliding that foot back. So this is the first time we're doing this. So it's gonna, might take some time before we figure out a way to do this. So it's helpful. Okay, other side, left foot, bring it up and open up the hips. So I open up the hips. 
Maybe I stay here. Maybe this is a good place for me today. Maybe I'd like to turn towards that straight leg. If I were to do this seated, I would be sitting like this on the floor. And come back up, let that leg slide forward. And then uh, let's try a wide angle. So bringing the knees apart if you want to. So on the floor would be this pose. Sitting up tall, let's straighten that right leg, flex the foot, that's gonna help. And then, and then uh, uh, lean towards that, that foot. You don't have to bring the arms up. I'm my arms are tired. I'm gonna let the arms rest. I, I still feel um, opening in my left uh, side body. It's gonna be more if I use the arm, but right now my arms are tired. They need to rest. Coming back up. Stay a moment in neutral. Just notice the difference in the two sides. If there is a difference, not necessarily. And then try the other side. So straightening that left leg, flex the foot, and then side lean to the other side. You can use the arms. My, my arms are tired today. I'm gonna focus on my mid body. I have a tendency to overuse my arms. I've had two shoulder surgeries and three or maybe four knee surgeries. That's like, that's enough. And come back up. And then let's try a forward fold. So uh, sit up tall and you could move forward. Maybe place the hands, I have very tall arms. And maybe uh, place the hands on the floor. And come back up. And we're gonna do one last pose before we go into the yoga nidra part. So uh, an upside down happy baby. Happy baby. So if start with the feet, big toes to touch here slightly apart, like Tadasana feet, and then just move them apart. So the feet are still in Tadasana. I use my elbows to keep those knees. Uh, so my knees have a tendency to collapse in. Uh, so either way, or if, if your hips are, are different, they might collapse out. I wanna keep my knees on top of my ankles. So I'm gonna place the elbows to keep them where I want them. So that helps me to stay like within, um, within the, the shape. And then here my focusing is from head to tail, head to tail. So I have this magnet in the head that pulls me up towards the sky. And I have this tail or this root that uh, wants to root into the earth. So two opposite forces making the spine really light. I can stay here or if I wanted to, I could bring the hands down, maybe release the head. And then inhale and come back up. Bring the feet back, um, hip distance apart. Finding your seat again, so we end where we started. And then we're gonna get ready, ready for the yoga nidra uh, part. So slowly transfer the weight forward, come up to stand, and then uh, choose how you would like to practice the yoga nidra. It can be done um, laying down. It's nice to have a bolster under your uh, knees to um, help the lower back relax. We're gonna be here for like 25 minutes. So maybe a blanket on top. 
uh, or you can be on seated or you can be on the couch or you might want to do something completely different and just listen. That's okay too. I'm going to give you a little bit more time uh, to get ready. So most of you have your cameras off, which is perfectly fine. It is helpful to me. I have a couple of people who have their cameras on, which is helpful to me because I see kind of what's going on. So it helps me know when to start. Takes the guessing out of the, of the game. All right, it seems like we are ready. Here we go. Let your body sink down into the floor. Feel the earth underneath you, holding and supporting you, rising up to softly cradle you. At this time, nothing else matters. Nowhere to go, nothing to do. Remain still for deep nourishment. Repeat these words in your mind. I am awake and aware. I am awake and aware. Now imagine yourself in a place that feels peaceful and friendly, protected and supported. It may be outside in nature, somewhere inside or in an imaginary place. This is your inner sanctuary. Feel yourself here and begin to see all the details around you. The light, the colors, any objects. See yourself in this protected place, sensing the comforting energy Supportive, calm, and protected. At any time during practice, you can guide yourself back here. If anything feels odd or too intense, go back to your inner sanctuary. Your inner sanctuary is always here. It is the of who you are. Become aware of your upper body. Notice breath in your heart space. The easy rise and fall of breath in your chest. Now go inward. Deep inside and listen. Listen to your heart. Deep listening. What does it say? What is your heart's best? longing what does your heart desire your heart may speak in words colors songs images or something else allow your heart to speak its truth from your heart's longing create a positive statement in present tense as though it's already happening Now state your heart's wish three times to yourself as the truth. Bring awareness to your belly. Notice the expansion on the inhale and the soft release on the exhale. Navel rising on the inhale, yielding to earth on exhale. From your navel center, bring awareness to your pelvis, right hip, 
right upper leg, knee, lower leg, ankle, top of the foot, sole of the foot. Notice the right calf, back of knee, hamstring, and pelvis. Notice your left hip, left upper leg, knee, lower leg, ankle, top of the foot, sole of the foot. Notice the left calf, back of knee, left hamstring, and pelvis. Bring awareness to lower belly, navel center, solar plexus, rib cage. Sense heart space, heart center. Notice your throat center, right shoulder, right upper arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, top of the hand, palm of the hand. Bring awareness back to throat center. Notice your left shoulder, left upper arm, elbow, forearm, wrist, top of the hand, palm of the hand. Bring awareness back to throat center. Feet or neck. Back of the head. Crown of the head. Feel your forehead. Head. Notice your mind's eye. Become aware of your eyes. Feel your eyes as color, as radiant wisdom, receiving sight. Bring awareness to nose. Notice breath passing through the nostrils, receiving smell. Shift your attention to your ears. Witness your ears hearing, receiving sound. Notice your jaw, chin, lips, teeth, tongue. Roof of your mouth, back of your mouth. Sense taste in your mouth. Receiving sensation. Become aware of the right side of the body. Now feel the left side of the body.
Still back body, side of the body facing the ground, back body. And now feel front body, side of the body facing the sky, front body. Now, right arm and left leg, right arm and left leg together. Now, feel left arm and right leg, left arm and right leg together. Feel whole body now, all parts together all together as a whole. Feel your whole body. Follow the flow of your natural breath. Notice the inhale, feel the exhale. Without changing anything, simply notice the breath traveling through your nostrils down to your center. Each inhalation travels to core. Now notice your natural exhalation. As you exhale, observe how the breath radiates out through the limbs. Inhale to core. Exhale into legs, arms, head and tail. Inhale flows to core. Exhale out to body. Now imagine your body feeling warm. Remember a time when you felt warm, like being in the sun. Feel your body warm. Now feel the opposite. Imagine your body feeling cool like stepping into cold water. Let your body experience coolness. Feel cool in your entire body. Now feel warm again. This time, feel them together, cool and warm at the same time in your body. You're standing with bare feet in a puddle. You wiggle your toes to stir the mud and sand around. You lift up one foot. It looks dirty. Water is dripping off the toes. You place it back down, only to pick up the other one. It looks dirty too. You decide to bend both knees and shoot off into the air. You land with a big splash. Now your legs are dirty too. You jump up and down, splashing muddy water all over you and the ground. It feels liberating.
you look up and you see a stream ahead. You get excited. More moving water. There are tall grasses you have to get through. You use your arms to pull the grasses apart. You lift your knees up high over the uneven ground. Step by step, you get closer. You can hear the rushing water now. The tall grasses turn into a meadow. You walk faster, start running. At the riverbank, you step into the clear water. It covers your feet and ankles. The flowing water cleans off the dirt. It feels refreshing. You walk towards the middle. It's deeper there. You bend your knees to let the entire body sink into the water. The water flows around your legs, arms, head, and tail. It purifies every cell of your body. You lean your head back and lift your feet off the bottom. Gently, the water carries your body down the stream. The stream turns into a wide, slow river. You decide to roll over onto your belly and start swimming. With strong arms and legs, you propel yourself forward. There is movement in the water. You hear clicking and whistling. Dolphins are joining you on your journey. Beautiful gray creatures are dancing, playing and swimming next to you. They come closer. Carefully, they put their noses under your arms to help you along. They are faster than you. You enjoy their speed. The water is getting shallow and the dolphins slow down. Softly, they release you close to a beautiful beach. You thank them and swim to shore. There is a large rock with a bag. You open the zipper and take out an orange towel. With your skin dry, you put on clean clothes. The sun is setting and the dolphins are waiting for you to take a seat. You are ready. You turn around and sit down on the warm rock. You look out over the water to enjoy the most fantastic dolphin show you have ever seen. Playfulness, teamwork, and pure joy. You awaken to the pulse of life within you and around you. Now remember your heart's longing. 
the positive statement you set at the beginning of practice. Repeat it three times to yourself as though it's already happening. Let this truth fill every part of your body. Notice all the space around you. Sense the space within you. Feel the sense of calm, confident, whole and complete. Notice that part of you that is the witness. The one who has observed your body, breath and journey. And now begin to notice thoughts and feelings flowing through your awareness again. Notice your breath. Feel its rhythm and pace. Invite your breath to deepen now. Feel yourself reawakening. Become aware of your body, your physical body resting on the earth. Before mo moving, just sense your hands. Now begin to wiggle your fingers. Notice your feet. Wiggle your toes. Gently rock your head from side to side. A slow awakening. Take a deep breath into your belly and slowly roll to your left hand side. Press your hands into the floor and come up to a comfortable seated position. Lengthen your spine. Take a full breath in and let it go. Bring your hands up in Anjali Mudra, holding your own heart in between your hands with love and compassion. Gently bow your head in gratitude for this practice, thousands of years old. Thank your inner guide, your past, present and future teachers and all the people that are joining you on this journey. Allow the eyes to slowly open. Raise your gaze. Thank you for joining me today. Namaste.